Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to Haseeb Electronics. Friends, I received question from one of my friend, one of my viewer. He asked why we use inductor, why we use coil, why we use choke in the output of any transformer. In the output of transformer we have inductor. It was his question why we force electrical current to pass from the inductor. After that we apply to capacitor. For best understanding I am using half wave rectifier. This primary, secondary. If I see in this place, first I have to remove, I am taking sine wave. This is output of the transformer. I am taking sine wave. At this point I have sine wave and now I will I connected one diode I connected one diode and now I am going to connect the output of the diode to the scope so we can see we have negative peak clipped so here and this point we have because diode is one way conductor it will remove the negative half cycle or positive half cycle depending upon the direction of the diode so this time I am connecting the cathode side in forward condition and anode is connected to transformer side so this time the negative half peak is clipped this voltage this rectified output is unable to drive any electronic circuit why because it have pulses up and down up and down it have no constant voltage level the level of output must be stabilized I am taking output here then the negative half cycle is clipped then we have another cycle then we have other half cycle so we have like this now I will connect a capacitor then I will discuss why we need inductor I have this load resistor I have to connect across the output terminal if I have just only half, rectif half wave rectifier half wave rectifier and we are finding the voltage across the load in this condition in this condition okay and if I connect a capacitor now I connected capacitor and we are finding voltage in this shape it is our load resistor and load resistor I am finding voltage without capacitor this and when I connected capacitor our voltage go like this capacitor charge and then discharge so we are taking voltage in this shape now this capacitor this voltage without capacitor RL voltage on RL load resistor without capacitor in this shape half wave when we connect it capacitor it becomes in this shape okay now we need to connect inductor and then we have to connect a capacitor it is called LC filter load resistor removed and now I will use one capacitor one inductor from this board we will connect this inductor to positive terminal of the capacitor and we will connect this inductor how it is connected it is connected in the positive terminal and to the positive terminal so we will connect it here to this terminal and 
the negative will go to the negative terminal and now we will connect RL load resistor in cross of this cathode of this diode going to one capacitor positive cathode of this diode going to one capacitor positive it is connected here diode cathode is connected to this capacitor this capacitor will give this type of sine wave pulsating DC we have ripples the level is not smooth we need a constant DC level to operate any circuit so we use a inductor and capacitor I will discuss the complete function and now first we see before inductor after inductor now this is output of the rectifier on this capacitor first capacitor at the first capacitor we are taking this voltage this one and after LC filter this is our output level the output is now smooth and at this point we have very minor ripples very minor ripples so this is output of LC filter how this happens let's come to the topic on this point half waves these half waves when capacitor will take these ripples these half waves it will start to charge when the cycle will start when this cycle will start rising up this capacitor will start charging it's charged when it is full at full peak it is charged after that in this missing period in this missing zone the RL this is without this first of all we will discuss in this way the RL load resistor because load is constant it is drawing the current so in the missing period in this zone the missing half cycle the capacitor will compensate and it will discharge through the load resistor first it will charge and then when this half cycle will start because this time this circuit is silent now the capacitor will apply capacitor will apply the voltage to the load resistors because in half cycle this circuit is off in next half cycle when next half cycle will reach here the load will be connected to the diode on this point so it will replenish the capacitor charge and will drive the load in next half cycle the same process will do now we connected one inductor the size of inductor the amount of inductance depends upon the frequency load current and the core size different parameters are in this I will not go in very deep engineering just only inductor the function of inductor when we apply voltage to any inductor when we apply any voltage to inductor it starts to build magnetic field due to flow of current so this magnetic field will start here when the half cycle is starting it will build magnetic field in the missing time this magnetic field will collapse when it will collapse it will generate back EMF current negative electronic current is flowing like this to this portion this circuit so this end is negative in entering point and exiting point because the electronic current is flowing in this way when the neg negative half cycle is clipped this electromagnetic waves this flux will collapse 
when it will collapse when these flux lines will collapse they will cut again to the inductor when magnetic flux collapse it generates a voltage this voltage will be opposite in the direction before that we applied electronic current from here in this way it build up electromagnetic field when it will collapse because this time the negative half cycle is missing in that time this flux will cut the winding again and it will generate the reverse magnetic field that means before that it was negative and it was positive now the positive voltage will here and this end will be negative it will generate voltage in series with this in series with this voltage to compensate the level when current was flowing this end was negative entering end the leaving end was positive because positive voltage are here so it will generate field flux when the negative half cycle will miss this will be clipped off the magnetic field in this inductor will collapse back when it will collapse back it will generate a reverse magnetic field and this reverse magnetic field first it was the current was flowing in this in that way that ways the voltage direction current direction will opposite so opposite that means this end will become positive and this end will become negative so the positive voltage will apply to load so in this way we are taking the leveled voltage we have very minor ripples in the output so our output level is before inductor we have like these ripples these ripples after this lc filter we are taking a smooth line so function of this lc filter is to remove the ripples in the dc level so we have a constant or approximately constant dc level half wave rectifier have very low efficiency it's about 40% because the half half wave is rectified then it have diode and other losses so its efficiency is 40% but it is very simple cost effective to regulate to smoothen the output level lc filter is used across the load resistor so i think this video is good if this video is good for you you can like subscribe and share if you want if you want to watch my future videos press bell icon button if you want thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh